Good evening. Uh, I just want to share with a, a little bit of a upgrade that I've done to the Browning Hell's Canyon Speed. I know before that uh, last time I made the video of the rifle, it had uh, a Conus uh, 3 by 10 by 44 scope on it. And uh, it took me a little bit, but I finally found what I want that will match what I need it for. And it is the Nikon Black X1000. It's the 4 by 16 by 50. It is a uh, uh, max internal adjustment of 90 MOA. It's got the X MOA reticle. And, uh, and what I really like about it is that uh, it's a 30 millimeter tube. And what I've been hunting in. You know, it's been very low light, and this scope gathers light perfect. And uh, so, uh, it is, uh, like I said, a 30 millimeter tube. It comes with the sunshade and uh, the caps. And uh, it is a uh, open style turrets. As you see, the turrets are really easy to see and to read zero lines pretty close and uh, so you can hear the clicks pretty good and when the knobs are real fat and got some grip on them so that way if you got gloves on or whatever you can just reach up there grab them turn them really easy to adjust even on the parallax it's the same way so, and uh, the magnification works good. It was kind of stiff when I first bought it and got put it on, but I've been every once in a while just turn them, get them going. And now it seems like it is getting a little bit easier with both hands, real smooth. And when it stops, I mean, it's in there. So that's one thing I liked about it too. And uh, I know on the inch, I went with the dead nuts mounts. It's a single mount, so I went with the two-piece Browning Expo style mounts. And instead of having the single screws on each side, it's got four, two on each side. And that, that gives me a little bit of confidence too if that, that they're gonna stay in there pretty good, so. <clears throat> And uh, it's all, uh, uh, I don't know if I can get that or not. One click equals a quarter MOA on the top and the side. And um, I really, I got it in good enough where I could hunt with it, but I think I can get it a whole lot better. So. And if you're uh, interested in getting a uh, Nikon scope, you better be getting them now because here a few that don't be stopped production on the scopes, but they still don't make the range finders, the spotting scopes, binoculars, but they just ain't gonna make the scopes no more. And if you do get them, they do will still honor the scope warranty that you got. And uh, so, I just wanted to give you a little bit and I'm going to go and tweak it a little bit more and uh, work with it and I think I can get it a whole lot better. I mean, I'm under a, uh, I'm under MOA at a hundred yards. So really just, just, uh, just to line it in, you know, that's, that's better than what I expected because as soon as I hit pretty close to bullseye, you know, I was just going to call it good, but, uh, so far, I'm really excited about this scope, and it's a good quality scope, and uh, I think it's around $500, $550. So, I mean, it's, if you're under a budget, yeah, you know, it's pretty expensive, but, you know, uh, I want a scope to 
to do what I need it to do. And I feel like this one suited my needs good. They do got them with the uh, illuminated reticles, but my last one was uh, illuminated, but I never did use it none. And I went with the high, the high rings, the one that clearance between the scope and the barrel. You never want to get the scope sitting right on top of the barrel. And uh, you just want to leave it smooth. Have that clearance in there. So you'll be good to go. We're going to get back hunting uh, this Saturday. This Saturday morning. Even though they're calling for 80% chance of rain all day. And I think uh, rain all day Sunday. So we don't hunt Saturday and Sunday. And then... Uh, Go back to work Monday through Friday, and then uh, we'll be off for uh, Christmas vacation, and hopefully we'll finish out the year hunting, and uh, hopefully we can get something on the ground. But uh, you know, and then after that, we're gonna start our predator series. So, if you're looking to get in the scope, look at the Nikon scopes. Uh, they will not disappoint you. And uh, this makes the third one I've owned. And well, the third one I've got. The third one I've owned. And I've always been very pleased with the uh, Nikon scopes. And I wish they would uh, keep on making them. Because their, their glass is just so good. That really, I think a $500 scope has got the glass of a $1,000 scope. And you know, these Nikon black x 1000s they got different applications in them like uh the fx 1000 and uh they got a 6 by 24 by 50 and just the x 1000 and uh so i can't remember the rest of them i think most of the fx 1000s are the 6 by 24 by 50 and uh so I, I done my research on them. I looked at Vortex and actually went and picked them up and looked at them. And this one was the one that I chose and I feel that would uh, best suit me of what I needed to do. And uh, since I've already owned some Nikons, you know, I couldn't uh, go back away from it. So, you know, uh, it's a, it's an excellent scope and as soon as I take it to fine tweak it, I'll uh, have that on video too. But it'll probably be after deer season, between deer season and the start of predator hunting, the predator series. So, you know, stick around and. That's what she'll look like when you're done with it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe like and share and uh happy hunting